morning everybody, welcome back to another vlog. It's Monday morning and I've just done my makeup and I'm about to do my hair so I thought I'd do it with me and show you the products that I use. Since I last came on here I've got extensions, I've got tape extensions. My natural hair is quite short as you can see. I just want to show you how I style them up. So I've just spritzed a little bit of the Gizu leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to take my Tangle Teaser. This is the only brush that I use, I absolutely love it. Just to give it a little brush out and then I'm going to pop in some other products before styling it with my air wrap. So this week I've got a few exciting things planned. I've got a content day today just at home so I'm going to be vlogging my day and filming some bits and bobs for Instagram. I recently did like a full-on content plan and planned out everything over the next month. It's really just helping me to get organised because even though it's now the start of March I feel like I still haven't got my ducks in a row for 2024 so that's going to be a big help. So I've got a call with my manager this morning and then once that's done I'll crack on with some filming and then I'm also going to upload a few bits and bobs to Vinted as well. I started last night. So I'll show you that and then I'll also pop a link to my Vinted in the description box in case you're interested. Okay, so hair is all nice and smooth. So I'm just going to take the Living Proof uh, full thickening blow dry cream. I really like this for just adding a little bit of volume. I don't add too much. I pop a little bit up in my roots and my natural hair because my natural hair is actually very fine. There is a bit of a texture difference between my hair and the extensions because they're much thicker. So I kind of just add this in up here just to help it blend. And then I also like to pop a bit down in the lengths and ends of the extensions. I just find it really helps the air wrap curls to stay. Okay, I'm just going to give that a little, the little brush over to make sure the product's all evenly distributed. I need to sort out my parting. You really need to wipe your hands after that product because it gets quite sticky on your hands. Okay, time for the air wrap. Oh, I just absolutely love this. I love the box that it comes in. It just works so perfectly with my extensions. So I've got the like copper and silver one and I'm just going to start by blow drying with this tool and then I'm going to take, I've got the long version, I'm going to take the slimmer curling tool and just use that one. So let's crack on. So my hair is pretty dry now. It's still a bit too much moisture in the lengths and ends, but we're getting there. Just so I brush it out. Look at that shine, absolutely obsessed. I've been using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner just because I have it, not for any particular reason. And I really like it, it smells delicious and it makes the hair feel so good. My extensions are getting a little bit grown out now. They've just started twisting, as you can see here. My hair grows quite fast, which is actually kind of annoying because it means I have to get them refitted quite often, but I should probably book in for an appointment sometime this month. Yeah, this one's really bugging me. <laughs> I got these done at Fox and Vamp in South Kensington area. What I'm gonna do is just grab this smoothing tool just to get the lengths and ends done. We'll just run this over quickly. Okay, that's better. It's like a nice little smooth flicky blowout now, but we're going to do the curls because it just blends it all better. Otherwise you can see my natural hair quite easily when it's like this. Just grabbed a couple of clips to help section it. There is nothing worse than a wonky parting. Okay, it's not perfect, but that's better. Okay, so I've sectioned my hair in half at the back. Just going to clip this bit up like that. And then the part I'm not using on this side, so I'm gonna start at the back. I'll unclip a small section and then pop the rest up as well, just to keep it out of the way. I look ridiculous, but it's gonna work. I also love using the heatless curl method. I did a reel on it recently and I just obsessed with the way it all comes out. I've got this heatless like curl kit, the one that goes around here from Kitsch. I will link it below. But on the days when I'm washing my hair, which is only twice a week, it's usually Sunday or Monday and a Wednesday or Thursday, then I will air wrap it to give it a good base. I'm gonna pop the rest of a podcast on. I've got a true crime one on and get air wrapping. Ok, 
Okay, I look kind of crazy. I've done one half of my hair and it's holding so well because I've been spritzing in this Hair by Sam McKnight Modern Hairspray. It's my favourite hairspray that I've ever tried. It's so good, it holds so well, but you can't feel it, which is amazing. And you can also use it as a like styling mist as well. So you can put it in before you style it. I'm going to just clip some of this back off my face. Think like that. Time for the other side look at the difference. <laughs> I usually curl it away from my face on both sides but today I'm going to try curling it all in the same direction so I've gone away from my face on this side so I'm going to come towards my face on this side just so all the curls have the same sort of pattern. So let's see how that turns out. I always brush through as well just so it's nice and smooth and makes it super shiny. I'm nearly done I've just got the front piece left which I am going to curl away from my face otherwise it'll just be a bit weird. My natural hair does not hold a curl very well so this probably won't last long but let's do it anyway so I need to twist this the other way. Give that a good spritz. Just gonna let this all cool and set for a moment. I'll take this clip out. Okay, time to brush out these curls. I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness, it's gone a bit floofy. Oh my god, it's gone a bit crazy up here. These curls need to settle down a bit. Look at this one. So funny. Right, need to get some oil in. I'm just gonna pop in the Olaplex bonding oil. It's gonna focus especially on this side. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. And just run it through the curls. Make sure the ends are nice and hydrated. I always feel like the oil makes it last a bit longer and makes them look really good. Okay, well this side is still crazy, but that will that will drop down. That's how I do my hair. And as I say, it takes a while, but I only do the air wrap method like once a week twice a week i always look forward to it because it's not every day and then i use like i just use a few different methods to curl my hair on the days when i've not washed it i'm just gonna pop a little bit of the hairspray through it again just to keep it held especially around the fringe and voila those are my air wrap curls so i've got 10 minutes until my meeting with my manager so i'm gonna probably make another coffee go through some emails and then afterwards we're gonna be filming some content so on my lips today i've got one of the new hourglass lip liners i absolutely love these this is in the shade flaunt 2 it's such a gorgeous like nudie like a hint of peach colour. I actually have like four of these. I've got one in my handbag downstairs. I'm literally obsessed. The colours are incredible. Like the perfect neutrals in like different like cool tones, warm tones, that kind of thing. And then I've also been sent some of their new lipsticks. These are the Unlocked, I think they're the soft matte lipsticks. And I've been absolutely loving them. They are so stunning. Like look at that colour. But I've actually put a bit of gloss just over that lip liner today. It's just the Dior gloss because I just had it to hand love this gloss how cute by the way is my ralph's coffee cup and saucer i'm absolutely obsessed with it i got it from the ralph lauren store um about a month ago it's obviously an overpriced coffee mug but I don't know, I just really love using it. It just brings me so much joy. So I have my morning coffee in this every day. I've got an oat milk latte made with my Nespresso machine. It's just so cute. And it's really good in the dishwasher as well. So far, it doesn't seem like anything has chipped or anything like that. So, obsessed. Hi. <laughs> so if you've been on my youtube before or on my instagram you will have probably seen the spare room that we have and i've got all these like built-in wardrobes here with shoes and i've got like bags and stuff in those drawers i've got my coats and like summer dresses and skirts here i added these handles on from ikea and i absolutely love them i think they make it look a little bit more chic and then over in this one we have tops and cardigans, knitwear, loungewear, that kind of stuff. And then, please excuse some of the mess, I've added in these Ikea Pax wardrobes and I'm so thrilled with them. There is a window actually behind this one but I never open the blind because it looks directly on next door and like into their house so I never open that anyway so I thought I may as well just cover it up with the wardrobes and it doesn't really make much difference at all. 
so yeah I've got these here this one I need to add some extra bits into which is why I'm not really using it I've just got some things I want to upload to Vinted here but I'm probably going to add in like shoe racks here and then more drawers at the bottom to put some like extra beauty bits in I need to give this a little tidy up before I start filming my reels today but I've got handbags and boots and stuff here storage all at the top I've got like spare bedding and things in them I've got coats and knit dresses with some trainers and boots there. I've got jackets here, like tweed jackets and bomber jackets. Little display here. And then I need to pick up some more organizers. I've just got like some accessories here. I actually picked these up in like the bargain basement area in Ikea and they were like half the price. And I think it was just because someone returned them. So love a bargain. Then I've got underwear, um, pajamas. I also got these like dividers from Amazon, which are quite useful. I've got like random accessories, some gym stuff here, and then the bottom drawers, random things. And then on this one, I've just shoved some bits in there because you can't see this when I'm filming, so I'm not to worry about the aesthetics here. But I've got the trouser rack, and then I have blazers and some like little shorts and stuff here. I'm absolutely obsessed, and I love, I love it as a background for filming. I think it looks so good. Also, if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll have known I actually fractured my foot recently and I've been wearing this support like sandal thing for the last six to eight weeks and I'm finally just coming off it now. I basically had like a stress fracture on the metatarsal on my right foot. It wasn't like a, an injury, like I didn't do anything traumatic to cause it. They think it was just from the foot where I was wearing, where I was walking a lot and also maybe the way that I walked. Walk. so that was really annoying I basically started having a load of pain in January and I just didn't know what it was so I went to A&E and after a few different appointments they finally saw a fracture on the x-ray and yeah I've just been waiting for it to heal so I've been inside so much recently I had to stop doing reformer pilates which I was getting so into at the start of this year and it's been really frustrating but now finally I'm starting to go out just on little short walks wearing like normal footwear again the things I've been wearing the most are my Lululemon like gym running trainers because they have like support at the back here and they're just really comfortable whereas I'm going to wear less like Ugg boots and Sambas when I'm walking a lot because they're flat and they're not providing enough support for my feet so I'm very annoying but, but we're getting there with it so I'm going to start setting up and just tidying up this room to get filming I'm gonna do a few reels today I've basically got like a whole content calendar planned out for the month and then broken down every day what I'm going to be uploading to each platform what stories I'm gonna be posting that kind of thing just to get me way more organized it's 10 past 11 now and i'm going to crack on with that then have a bit of lunch maybe do some more filming after lunch and then i've got a few other chores on the list to get done today as well Okay, that spring capsule wardrobe video took way longer to film than I expected. I've never filmed anything like it before, so it took a bit of playing around, but we finally got there. I was about to have some lunch, but I thought I'd just quickly film a get ready with me video, including new pieces that I've got from River Island. I've got some really nice things in at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now, and then I'm gonna have some eggs on toast. I just need to brush my hair. As you can see, it's like wavy now, which is so much better. I've got this light box here, just because it's a little bit, the sun's going a bit in and out, so I thought if I use this, to brighten up this corner slightly it will keep the lighting quite consistent which is nice so it's a little bit later I've finished filming content the lights starting to well no lights not going but it's really cloudy outside so it is kind of affecting it a bit so I actually didn't film two things for Instagram but they aren't going to be uploaded until the end of the week so I can do them maybe on Wednesday but otherwise I'm quite happy with how productive I was so I'm feeling quite peckish right now I might just pop to the shop I'm waiting for the postman to come to collect something. Well, it says they were going to arrive by 2.20 and it's now 2.50. So, I don't know where they are, but they're normally here before lunchtime, so I don't know what's going on. I really hope it just kind of gets collected today at some point. Otherwise, I've pretty much done the main things for today, which I'm very 
pleased about. The only other thing I want to do is upload some bits to Vinted. I can do that later and just use like a light to help like brighten it up a little bit. I'm kind of tired of being on my feet. I just want to sit down. I need a Diet Coke, I think. It's this time of day, like 3 p.m. I really struggle and I always want to take a nap. I didn't sleep much last night because I got up really early today just to try and get myself back into a good routine, which has been productive so far. But now I'm starting to, my eyes are starting to feel a bit tired. So we will see how we get on. So we had a bit of a switch up in the living room recently and this is the sofa bed that used to be where my wardrobes now are. We <laughs> decided to pop this in here and I've got storage for some of the other bits because they are the landlord's furniture. We've actually laid it out, like pulled out the bit that makes it into a bed and just have it here like this all the time. So when we're watching TV we can just chill like with our feet up and it's been the best thing ever. It makes it just feel even cosier in here now when we watch TV or a movie. It's a lot later now, it's like half past nine. Matthew's at the gym, he'll probably be home soonish. And I'm just getting ready for bed. I got up at like six this morning after having about five hours sleep, which wasn't ideal. Ooh. So tonight I'm gonna have a nice sleep, I'm gonna read when I get into bed and yeah, just enjoy a little bit of skincare this evening. So I thought I'd do it with you. Clip my hair back slightly and just keep it out the way. Got my Soho home. Oh gosh, I am tired. I didn't even realise how tired I was until I got up here. Got my Soho home dressing gown on. I've had this for a good few years now, maybe three years. Love it. It washes so well. It's incredible like it still feels brand new probably needs a wash now it's a little bit of makeup on it but it still feels brand new even after so many years which every other dressing gown just doesn't do the only thing is and i know people say this all the time about the dressing gown it doesn't have pockets i don't understand when i wear my dress gown i want me able to put a lip balm in my pocket put my phone in there no pockets do not understand why and it really bothers me, but I've kind of got used to it now after a few years. So hair is back. Just going to use a little micellar water. You're in my skincare cupboard right now. Hence why everything's falling off. I'm just going to use a little micellar water just to get my eye makeup off. Got my contact lenses in it's just so I can see what I'm trying to you guys. So I don't want to put cleansing balm over my contact lenses because it will be a disaster. So today was actually a very productive day. I didn't get every single thing done on my list but it was a bit ambitious my to-do list. Tomorrow's plans have changed slightly. I was meant to be out shooting with one of the girls in the morning but that's got moved to Wednesday so I've got another full day at home and I've got a few errands to run out and about like go to the charity shop and things, go to the post office because postman didn't come today weirdly which i don't understand so i'm gonna take my trusty elemis cleansing balm this is the rose one in the like giant size it lasts forever my favorite scent is the original one though but i'm using up what i've got i think i have an original one somewhere but like, i have like a, a stock of these in my like extra skincare cupboard so i'm just getting through them slowly i'm just gonna add some more water to this cloth i'll let the water heat up and i'm gonna pop this straight on my dry face Smells so good. Take it down my neck. Got a breakout here. My period is coming. I do get a few breakouts during that time, but nothing crazy. And the products I've been using have been really helping with that as well. So for a second cleanse, I have a few that I go to. I'm not too fussy about face cleansers but let me show you what i normally use so at the moment i've been alternating between these two so the dior la mousse on off on which is quite a nice like hydrating i guess i don't know i feel like my skin feels more hydrated when i use this and when i have some more breakouts so i really want to get into the pores i use the tatcha matcha cleanse which i really like it's quite a new launch i just love their products so much there's actually nothing from them that i don't like so far but i've been sent some new products today from thayer's i know they do that like witch hazel toner which i've always been a bit hesitant to use because i always just think of witch hazel toners from like boots when i was a teenager which was so stripping but they've got some like nourishing things here so i'm gonna try their ph cleansing Hyaluronic Acid 5% Aloe Vera Cleanser. It's my second cleanse. It comes out a bit like aloe vera juice, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like quite liquidy. So I'm just going to add a little water to my hands. 
Oh, it foams up nicely. It just smells quite clean. There isn't too much of a scent to it. Okay, just gonna use the cloth to get that off again. Face is clean. Feels nice after that, actually. And I'm also gonna try their Hydrating Milky Toner with Snow Mushroom. I've heard it's really good with hyaluronic acid and snow mushroom. I think I'm just gonna put it on my hands and see how we go. Okay, I just had to change the battery so that angle might be a little bit different. All right, I'm just gonna spritz my face with like a hydrating mist. This is nearly finished. It's the Charlotte's Magic Hydrator Mist. It's nice, but it's not like revolutionary. It does smell good though, I have to say. Okay, let's try this toner. So I'm just gonna pop some in my hands. The like formula is a little bit like that cleanser. It's like jelly, but liquidy. I'm just gonna press that in. I've started to get this big line on my neck. Literally since turning 30, I've noticed it and it's really annoying. So I always put my products down my neck. I'm gonna put some eye cream on and then leave that to settle in for a minute before I go in with my prescription. I'm not too precious about eye cream either, but I've got this Skin Suticles Age Advanced Eye Cream, which I've got sent recently. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on. It's quite like a thick formula, which I think is quite nice for the evening. Probably got a bit too much there. It almost feels like a bit of a mask, which is nice. Time to brush my teeth. I use the Spotlight Oral Care toothbrush. I really love their whitening range as well, but I haven't run out of their toothpaste, so I've just got some Sensodyne. Real in content, I know. Apart from the odd spot, I feel like my skin is looking really good right now. Well, it does in the bathroom mirror anyway. I'm not sure about on the camera, but I'm really pleased. And I do think it's down to having a prescription. So I've been using Dermatica since December. I recently had the prescription changed up because I wanted to add tretinoin into it. And I have been getting some peeling around here, but that seems to have calmed down a little bit now. And I do think this is really helping just make the skin look like more glassy and like even. Most nights, some days I do it every night, sometimes I don't if I feel like it's flaking, I just wanna like nourish my skin a bit. I use three pumps of it, which is probably a little bit much, but because I'm not using it every night, it still lasts. And I just pop it on the skin. I have been working with them on an Instagram advert. Obviously this isn't sponsored. I do have a code that you can use if you want to try it out. I think you get your first month's worth for like two pounds something, really cheap. And then it's 25 pounds a month, which for prescription. And you also like have 24 seven access to dermatologists and stuff. If you have questions and they check in with you. It's a really good service to be fair. Also put this on my neck especially on that line. <laughs> just makes my evening skincare really simple and it's literally just the one serum. Okay, so that's on. It doesn't sting or anything like that. It just feels really nice on the skin. I'm gonna leave that to sink in for a few minutes and then I'm gonna finish with moisturizer. And I need to get back into using my Grande Cosmetics Lash Serum. I keep forgetting to use it. Another thing that I love to use uh, mainly at night, sometimes in the morning, is the new face. I do really love this device. I just sometimes forget to use it. I don't use it as consistently as I should do. And I also love the Current Body LED Mask. I've had it for a few years now. I really like it, actually. I just, again, need to be more consistent with it. I might use it this evening while I just read in bed. I think it says to just use it on clean skin, but I think it's fine over skincare as well. As long as it's all sunk in, then it should be okay. And it really helps to like reduce redness and promote cell turnover and help with aging that kind of thing i'm tempted to try this is barrier bestie ultra whip cream the sugar cane squalene cholesterol and ceramides for dry to very dry skin which could be good let's have a look at it so i'm not using this i'll use one of a range of moisturizers tatcha dewy skin cream love this so much I prefer using it at night to be fair because it is so rich and it really nourishes the skin. Sometimes I feel like it can be ever so slightly too greasy in the day for me. I think my all time favourite moisturiser, unfortunately for my bank account, is the Augustinus Bada Rich Cream. Oh my god, there is nothing like this. It's unbelievable. The texture is unreal. It feels so lightweight on the skin once you've rubbed it into your hands, but it's so nourishing. It's the perfect base for makeup. This tube lasts for a while as well. I've been using it for a good few months now, like religiously, and it's still going. And it looks so pretty as well, but it's just so expensive. 
Moisturizers. It's such a good moisturizer, honestly. If you get to the chance to try it, you will absolutely fall in love with it. I've not tried the normal one, but the rich one is so good. My skin feels nice and like dewy now. Should we have a look at this? It is like a kind of whipped texture. Let's have a look. Ooh, that feels nice. I think for night time that'll be really nice. Or if you're having like a like a Sunday skincare kind of day. It's almost a little bit balmy. I don't think I'm gonna try that. Why not? Let's give it a go. Probably need a little bit more than that, but let's try. Oh, it does feel good. It feels like, it literally feels like it's going to create such a nice barrier for my skin and lock everything in. It's very thick in a nice way. I'm going to pop a little bit more on my neck. Hmm, I like that. For days when I want something really nourishing or my skin's feeling a little bit worse for wear or it's a little bit flaky from my treatment, I think this could be really nice. Feels good. Feels nice and like plump and juicy. Okay, time to take out my contact lenses. I literally cannot see further than... This, any further is blurry, even that's a little bit blurry. So if I'm not looking in the right place right now, forgive me. So I'm just gonna pop lash serum on. I think I'm just gonna use the mirror a second. I much prefer putting dry shampoo in in the evening. I feel like it just sinks in overnight. So I'm just gonna do that now. I have the cheapest pair of glasses that Specs oversells. They're not, they're not at all flattering on me, but this is real life. I literally only wear them in the morning walking from my bed to the bathroom and then in the evening from the bathroom to bed. Don't wear them any other time. I cannot stand wearing glasses. I just love wearing my lenses. This is my favourite ever dry shampoo. It's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean. I don't like the original one. It's too like thick and heavy. But this one's really nice. I was recently sent the Olaplex one. It's very lightweight dry shampoo to the point where I'm not really sure if it does a huge amount but I've been trying it out anyway. This one's amazing. I'm just gonna pop it under here, the crown of my head, a little bit on the scalp line and also a little bit underneath. I'm just going to pop some oil. This is the same one I used this, this morning, the Olaplex bonding oil. You don't need too much of this. Just to keep the ends nice and nourished. I also really like the Kerastase oil. I've also got that in the cupboard. I'd normally put my heatless curler in at night, which I think I mentioned this morning, but... Tomorrow morning I want to film some content using the new GHD Kronos straightener. It's a really good straightener to be fair. You can be so quick with it and the style is like the style that you can create is just perfect. Even just running it through quickly. And it's curved in a way that's great for making curls as well. I've been really enjoying curling it with that. So I want to film some content for Saturday's Reel. But I do have the Platinum Plus straightener. And to be honest, I don't think there's a, a hugely noticeable amount of difference between the two of them. I think if you've got one of the old ones or like the gold version and you fancy an upgrade, I think go for it. But if you've got the Platinum Plus, I think don't worry unless you really want to try it out. It's a really great straightener and it's quite nice and compact as well. It feels a little bit smaller. Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. I'm just going to put my hair in little pigtails and then I'm going to get into bed. Time for bed. Can't wait. been loving this pillow spray such a nice one i love to like douse the pillow with it, it smells so good oh time for bed it's 1 15 in the morning and i'm boiling a kettle to make a hot water bottle oh, i was so excited to get into bed as you last saw and then bam my period started and i've not had pain like this in a very long time i haven't had to sleep I've been trying for like the last few hours and I decided to come downstairs and get I've got this long one from the White Company, so that should 